Has my PhD ever caused me to lose sleep? Probably. <laughs> I, can't say, I can't say I lie awake at night, kind of, or wake up and frantically have to scribble something down. I think possibly it's made me lose sleep more in the sense that it can make your brain very busy. And if you, if you don't find a way to switch off or wind down at the end of the day, you can find you're going to sleep. And sometimes I'll say to my partner, I feel like my brain is buzzing. I can literally like feel the synapses firing as I'm trying to go to sleep. And, and so I think not necessarily in that I'm worrying about it. I just think that my brain is still probably processing things from that day. Um, and so it can maybe take me a little bit longer to unwind. I do use some strategies to help me sleep. I'm not sure if I can do a bit of product plugging here, um, but I use Lush do a really great body lotion <laughs> called Sleepy. And they also have a sleepy shower gel and they have a sleepy spray. And so, um, and so I quite often use that or use aromatherapy as a way of helping me unwind. Sometimes I'll find having a shower or a bath. Um, also, I find that if my brain is really busy, then playing something, um, so having an audio book or something going on, just sort of takes some of the noise away and helps me, helps me switch off a bit better. Oh, my PhD caused me to lose sleep. Yes! <laughs> I think everybody that is doing PhD, I'm sure they will have gone through that phase. Uh, the way I handle most most times when I feel pressured, and uh, as, as I said, I watch lots of films, I watch series, and it helps me to relax. I think I watch a film every day, at least for one hour before I sleep. Even if it's 12 o'clock, it's part of me now. That is a way to balance it. So, um my PhD has caused me to lose sleep and definitely a lot of stress and anxiety over the past. Um, as with any research, I guess even my PhD uh, has a low points and high points. And I think the way I've overcome this, this anxiety and stress and lack of sleep was that I kept telling myself that I will solve the problem that I was, I was focusing on at the moment. And I knew that there were problems and there were difficult times, but understanding and knowing that I can't overcome those, um, made me a stronger person and made me keep going. I think that there, there were a lot of different, different techniques and tactics and strategies that I've, I've implemented. Um, part of them were um, activities like running, for example, and, and just really, again, just stepping back and looking at the wider picture and knowing that the problem that I'm focusing that's causing me to lose sleep is only a very small part of the whole PhD and that I can work through it and continue. I've definitely lost sleep over my PhD. Um, everything from not feeling like I was good enough to be there in the first place to questioning methodologies, deadlines coming up, um, trying to work out why my results are showing what they're showing. Um, the one thing that I've done is is kept a notebook by the side of my bed because I think there's nothing worse than lying awake remember, trying to remember something that you've got to remember in the morning when it's a lot easier just to write it down and try and forget about it and go back to sleep. Because I think I do like to lie awake and worry a lot. So that definitely helped. Um, no, I sleep relatively well ever since I started my PhD. So far, luckily, my PhD has not caused me to lose sleep. I think I just love sleep too much for that. But I hope in the future it won't. But I've seen that for some PhD students, it does. So we'll see. Thank you. It, uh, my PhD has caused me to lose sleep and it's through worrying and thinking. You off, go to bed thinking about things. You may have not given yourself time, adequate time to switch off. So you are rewriting paragraphs, you're rewriting ethics, you're worrying about things. You might have a meeting uh, coming up with your supervisor or something may have happened or your day might have not been as productive as you'd wanted to or uh, something may have gone wrong. Uh, and sometimes I wake up in the night and, and I'll be worrying about those things. And, but I do think um, it doesn't happen all the time, but I, I do think it can happen. But to overcome it, I have a notebook at the side of my bed and I try and write these things down because in the morning I can't remember them. 
So now I try and rationalise it, write it down what I need to do and then make sure I get to it in the morning. At the beginning of my PhD I found that it was causing me to lose a lot of sleep because of the undue stress. Um, but eventually, um, after, after getting myself into a more efficient sleeping pattern and going to bed at a regular time, this, this helped my... Right. I'm not sure if my PhD specifically has had me lose sleep. I think it's more to do with if I've had a busy day. If I've had a busy day, mentally or physically, I'll sleep, whatever. I wouldn't say I have worried about my PhD so much that I've lost. it's been a, a key element in me losing sleep because I always know there's a solution. I always know I've got support, uh, such as uh, my colleagues around me, my supervisors, and I know if I sleep on a problem, there's generally solutions after a couple of days. 